Hey everyone, welcome back for match two of our popper burn um, in a friendly league. So let's join the match. Find an opponent. So first game we lost to Boggles. Uh, it was 0-2. Uh, that was not very, very good. So, hopefully we have a little better luck this time. So I gotta figure out what what I can do in Popper to beat the lifelink. I'm not really sure what there is in Popper to prevent life gain. I don't think this wool crack is legal. All right, well, we have an opponent. I want to join the match. All right, I'd like to go first. All right, game two starts like, I mean, sorry, game one of match two starts like game one of match one. Got them all. Uh, double fire last, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, I'll put that on top. Spin the rift bolt. Elves. I know what you're playing, opponent. <laughs> All right, rift bolt. I mean, do we want to? Do I just gotta try to race him? Another mountain. Play a probe. Pay two life. Okay. Hmm. I guess he's not playing elves, is he? I don't know this version of elves. Okay, cool. That's very cool. I liked that. Yeah. Awesome. I think he's gonna play the ledge walker. Play this forest. Play this nest invader. And ramp out something else or have a blocker. Okay. Let's start by suspending the rift bolt. Okay, so it looks like he's going to play his elephant guide on his Eldrazi spawn, sack it for mana, and get a 3 3. Nice little combo he's got there. Gonna hit me for. So he's gonna play out his ledge walker. No, his elephant guy. Huh. I guess well, he gets a five five, so that's good. I'll go down to thirteen. Okay. Alright, need some good draws because we're on a pretty fast clock. Okay. So this is some kind of stompy, I guess. Oh, is he gonna do ten to me next turn? Takes me to five. If only one of these fire blasts was something else. So I'm probably gonna be at three. He's gonna be at five. Hits me with ten this turn. Okay, I'm at 
three. Let's see what we can pull off the top. Lava Runner. I think this will do it. Oh, this is good. Okay, awesome. In for two. Okay. And sack two mountains. Four damage. Ooh, that's a close one. Okay. Got a game. Alright, I think we're going to want electricery here. What do we want to cut? We definitely want to have the searing blazes. Hmm, I wonder if Thermo Alchemist is just too slow. I think so. Now, do we want to bring anything else in, like Seal of Fire, anything like that? Let's go with this. I mean, I think we need speed. If we can keep him from gaining any life. So that's what I'm going to have to do for my next match. Or not my next match, but the next time I play a league. I need to figure out what Popper Burn has in its arsenal to do against the life gaining. Alright, a really risky hand again. One lander. But there's a lot to do in this. Alright, let's keep it. through this turn. Okay. Not what I wanted, but let's see. Play a lava runner. Feel he's off to a little bit of a slow start too. I think they'd be wrong about that. Emissary. Probably a nest invader. Uh okay. Well, there goes my lava runner. Hey, so if anyone listening to this, if they have any ideas or they have any experience of what they usually use for life gaining when they're playing Burn and Popper, uh, let me know or share the information with everyone else. How we can combat that. Maybe Curse of the Pierced Heart is the answer to negate it. I think we're getting overrun here. Rift Bolt. Can we race him? Okay. Come out. Let's do this first. Manamorphose. Epic Confrontation. I've seen that one a few times now. I had never played it prior. I guess it's pretty good in this snoppy shell. Alright, so we're going to go down to 10. Uh, hoping for another land. What do you 
got opponent. Vault Scourge. Definitely want to take that out. Oh, probe. See what you got in your hand. Go down to eight. Hunger of the Howl Pack. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Put three plus one plus one counters on that creature instead if a creature died this turn. Cost one green. Alright, so he's hoping that I kill something. Alright, so maybe we can trick him. No. Do we just gotta... I mean, he's gonna play it. Should I just have completely ignored anything that he was doing? And maybe I got too focused on his creatures. That might have been my downfall. So I could have probably done 9 this turn. Plus, yeah. Ah. Alright. Let's go to game 3. So I still think my sideboarding was fine. Let's just run it back. Every time, Deck, every time, you hate me. Uh, you hate me even more. Alright, keep this one. Gonna... Okay, good. Awesome. On top. Cool. Okay. Let's try to get something going here. Spend the Rift Bolt. Jet. Set up a good draw. Let's see. Take one. Okay. Opponent plays.
Free Emissary into something else. Okay. Default Scourge. Do we wanna, I think we want to take out that Vault Scourge. Just to keep him off the lifelink. Yep. Okay, we're gonna bottom that. Top that. Okay. Play a mount. Play a metamorphos. Add two red. Searing blaze. We're gonna. Who do we want to take out? the searing blaze. But if he taps out, maybe we can take out the Queer and Ranger. Guide on the burning tree emissary, so that makes him a 5-5. Five five. Can't do anything about that because Searing Blaze he only does one. Alright. the opponent here. Land. Chain Lightning. Alright. Maybe we want to take out a creature. He has no mana to regenerate this boa. Or do we want to take out the Corrin Ranger? Because he looks like he's kind of having some problems with mana. Five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Don't want to do it, but I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to take out this boa just to do one damage, and then <laughs> we just have to cross our fingers here. Maybe it was a mistake. Watch, I'll get a land. That'll be the worst. That'll be the absolute worst. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Okay. GG, opponent, GG. What do we have? Of course. 
which wouldn't have mattered though. All right. <laughs> well, we are. Uh, that was the end of game two. We are still 0 and 2. Uh, I think my build's got a little bit of work to do, but uh, I'll see you back for match three. Thank you.